My husband's family homesteaded in 1888, and you never see junipers in any of those pictures. When we came back to the ranch in the late 80s, the hill that was always known as Bald Hill was totally, totally covered with juniper. In 1935, the Forest Service estimated about 600,000 acres in eastern Oregon of western juniper. And today we have somewhere between 6 and 10 million acres of it in eastern Oregon. The reality is those 6 to 10 million acres of juniper are having a significant impact on the hydrologic function, the water availability, uh, the impact on wildlife habitat, and uh, the viability of our ranches and, and agricultural activities here in eastern Oregon. Juniper is a water thief. It can utilize up to 35 gallons of water per day if it can get to it. And since it is a conifer tree, it will use that water in the summer as well as any point that it's above freezing in the winter, spring, or fall. Sage grouse are dependent heavily on sagebrush, and as juniper encroaches into those sagebrush areas, uh, it competes with sagebrush and the sagebrush dies. That's a really big deal because if the sage grouse is declared endangered, um, that's going to really negatively impact the economy in our rural parts of our state. Juniper control efforts give us an opportunity to provide both ecological benefits to the region and an economic boost for the rural areas. The juniper industry in Oregon is it's pioneering. We're in the smallest, one of the smallest, poorest county in the state, and these guys, they need jobs. Right now on the milling site, I got five people employed. I got one bookkeeper employed. I got a payroll company employed. 17 companies throughout the whole state that supply me some type of product on a consistent basis. I've been in Harney County for 45 years and out of town for the last three. And it was nice that I got the opportunity to go to work for him. I just want to be home. Gerard came with a very solid business plan. We looked it over and we provided some capital investment to him and what's happened here is proof positive that some investment from, from the government can go a long ways. There's clearly an economic opportunity that Juniper presents for all of Oregon. The harvesting of the juniper creates jobs uh, for loggers. The transportation of it creates jobs for truckers. The millers then uh, break it down into lumber and dry that, and that in turn creates jobs. But that's just the beginning of the story. But once it leaves those locales, it's likely going to be further processed, painted, primed, treated, and eventually it ends up in the hands of people in the construction trades. And so it really has the opportunity to create jobs, not just in eastern Oregon, but throughout the state. We've been processing juniper since I bought the business five years ago on a limited basis, but in the last year and a half it's really grown. We're remanting rough 1x6 juniper kiln dried boards into uh, S4S surfaced boards that are going to be wall paneling for a Panera Bread Bakery. We create added value products for uh, the agricultural industry, uh, lawn and garden people, uh, some lumber dealers, with the governor signing on supporting this, is, it's, it's been huge for um, the potential for juniper products to be used um, in lots of applications. Now that I've been exposed to the juniper posts in my organic block, I know that they're as strong and they won't be pressure treated, so it'll be better for the soils as well. Our clients want sustainability in every aspect of what they do. Juniper is a, a great durable building material for their gardens so that they last as long as possible. Growing Gardens decided to build a juniper planter made from juniper wood because it's a durable product, it's a beautiful product, and it's great for the environment. The most interesting thing about juniper, um, well personally I think you make gin out of it, that's pretty interesting. Central Oregon is in the heart of the world's largest western juniper forest, so our supply is seemingly endless. It's very appealing and it's different. There's not anything else to my knowledge that turns out quite as nice as juniper. 
it's brought together uh, environmentalists who support this project. It's brought together the landowners and ranchers who live there, have lived there for four and five generations. It's brought county officials together. It's brought Oregon's political community together um, in a way that oftentimes doesn't happen outside the state. This is a real triple bottom line. We, we've got jobs uh, for a part of Oregon where unemployment has been just really tough for a very long time. We've got a positive impact on the environment and we have a product that is really useful for many, many things. So all those things coming together, um, I kind of think it has something to do with, you know, being an Oregonian.